Hey everybody, uh, thanks for logging on. appreciate y'all looking uh, for my videos and I wanted to do a unboxing of something that is still sealed and literally just came in. Um, and so if you don't know, this uh, packing tape with the H stands for uh, Hodinkee. That's the, uh, that's the website um, that sells watches and does watch reviews and um, really a cool site. So Hodinkee, H-O-D-I-N-K-E-E.com. Um, and I saw a watch on their shop and, and I really wanted to buy it. Um, so let me just, um, let's take a look at it and see what it is. It's a watch that I've actually wanted for a, uh, for a long time. Um, it's a reissue of a vintage watch and just, you know, as usual, I had the opportunity to buy it several times over the last, um, you know, 10 years or something like that. But, um, you know, for whatever reason, didn't feel compelled to, um, you know, do so or, or let that opportunity slip through my grasp. And now I'm kind of priced out of it. But I'm really thankful that this company remade this watch. And so a packing slip here and um, put that there. And then, okay, so like I said, I've never seen this box empty, no packing material, but um, just comes in this white package. And then let's see if you can read what it says here. Um, let's see if I can read it. It says, uh, Ben Russ watch, black dial with black strap, one size, Ben Russ type one. And so it's the Ben Russ type one. So take that little cardboard sleeve off and it comes in a nylon pouch kind of simple but you know cool like it's easy it's a little unzipped already that's always annoying so i'm gonna unzip it and i've never seen this just opened it and let's um let's kind of look at it together all right very cool so this is kind of like a little carrying case um or like a little storage pouch for the watch and you can see the watch there we'll get to it in a second um but let's look and see what this is um this is like a little tag that is a quality control certificate. Um, it's signed in ink by somebody. It comes with a small booklet um, that has the international warranty um, on it, and it has some instructions on how to use the watch. Like any good watch collector, we never look at the instructions, and so we just kind of try to get into it and see if we can figure it out. So it's got a little snap here and then voila we just like kind of produce the watch and let's kind of see what it looks like here um first impressions um heavy like uh like a heavy watch like it's heavy on the um heavy in the hand you know so it's stainless steel looks like it's got some stickers on it to protect it um and you can see that it's got that this really nice sterile black dial so this is an issue of the uh the benrus type one uh military watch and um do yourself a favor there's a lot of really interesting stuff on the web about the origin of these watches there was a type one there's a type two and i think there's like a type 2a also anyway long story short in the um you know in the 50s and 60s um, you know, Benrus was a major supplier to the uh, military, and these watches were originally never sold to civilians, and they were only military issue, and, uh, you know, the Type 1 has this famous sterile dial. You know, it's water-resistant, and it was one of those, like, really nice water-resistant watches way back in the day. Um, let me see here, and I think there's a, like, a little protective cover here, yeah. Yeah, there's like a double dome sapphire crystal. And so, little protective plastic there. And you can see just how deep black that dial is. Really pretty. Um, the back has a limited edition um, engraving. You can see that there. The watch is really heavy in the hand, honestly. It's like really heavy. It's like solid stainless steel. And apparently, they took some like extreme pains to make this very similar um, or as close to a one-to-one -one replica, not a replica, a one-to-one -one reissue of the uh, original watches. You know, a lot of companies have made uh, replicas of this. Um, it's a very simple watch, but it's also a very classic watch. Again, really nice, heavy feeling in the hand. 
beautiful asymmetric case. Um, let me see if I can put this thing on. Uh, this is a set of a thousand watches, um, which is kind of a lot, um, but I guess that's, uh, that's it's a limited edition. And um, it's got a little hang tag here. Let's see if I can take that hang tag off without destroying it. You know, Ben Russ has exchanged hands many times as a company, and it's nice to see that the new owners are bringing back what collectors really want to see are, um, you know, just new versions or updated versions of the classic watches. Of course, the original one had a acrylic crystal and a uh, and like a bakelite bezel, which is like a, kind of like a plasticky material. And the uh, luminescent, the numbers here were luminescent. That's not the case on this one. Um, this has an automatic movement. It's an ETA movement. So you know, I I think that's I think that's valuable. Um, and then let's see, we're gonna take this sticker off too, nice and easy, perfect. And so you can see the engraving better there. It comes on a two-piece NATO strap. Um, so the original watch had fixed spring bars or fixed lugs um, or lug bars. Um, these are more um, contemporary stainless uh, steel spring bars that you can just you know pop out and you can switch straps, 20 millimeter um, lug width on this watch. So let's just see what it feels like on the wrist. Um, it's got the old trusting, trusty Breitling Super Ocean on. Um, compared to this 40 millimeter watch, um, you can see that the size is very similar. You know, the thinness, you know, the Super Ocean is certainly not a thin watch, but it's a, you know, it looks like a nice contemporary size. And let me just show you what the Ben Russ Type 1 looks like on wrist. The strap is like really nice. Um, very thick, super like super high quality. It's got stainless steel um, hardware on it. Let me just see if I can. Golly, man! But you know, I'll be honest. I mean, it's like really a long strap. I'm gonna have to get. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to get um, like some other kind of strap going here because it is like stupidly long. This is like the smallest. I mean, the the smallest setting on the strap, and so I, I don't know who this watch is, is made for. Maybe it's made to wear over the sleeve, like commando style. Because you know, I always roll like that. Um, let me show you like that then, maybe it'll s stay on. Um, here you go. So yeah, it's kind of like a cool watch. Um, looks great, the bezel doesn't click. So it's just a sliding bezel, it's bi-directional. Um, screw down crown, of course, uh, water resistant, um, I'm sure to like 300 meters. So um, just like the original was. And, um, you know, good loom, good quality. I like it. I mean, the watch is definitely a keeper. It's an official reissue of a watch that I've wanted for a long time. And so I hope you like this quick unboxing um, of this Benrus um, Type 1. Um, really cool watch. I mean, just really classic. I like it. A little bit let down um, by the packaging, you know, it's kind of, and I'm not a packaging person. I don't, I don't like like a huge ass box and like a bunch of like, you know, random weird stuff. But I mean, a little like, I mean, this could have been leather. I mean, that would have been nice. Um, you know, the booklet, the little card kind of, you know, phoned in, but you know, I get it. I get it. It's just, it's, it's a purpose built watch, not cheap. Um, a little less than $2,000 um, for this one. And like I said, it is a limited edition. Um, so, you know, if you're interested in it, I would go ahead and get it. I don't know if this is the kind of watch that is going to be, that is going to appreciate in value over time. Certainly the originals have appreciated in value and it's frankly pretty hard to find one, not only in good condition, but one that is also like authentic. Um, but, but, you know, if you can find one, then those are awesome, but that's going to run you five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000. Um, this is less than... $2,000, which is a lot of money, but as far as these things go, it's, it's actually a pretty good, um, it's a pretty good deal. I wouldn't call it a pretty good investment, but it's a pretty good deal for an automatic Swiss watch with a lot of style and legit, um, legit pedigree, legit history, and something that you will look down at your wrist at and just kind of be like, okay, wow, that's like, that's just like a really cool, really different watch. So anyway, as always, uh, I'm rambling, but I hope you like this quick look at this, you know, really cool watch. This is the Ben Russ Type 1. 
limited edition of uh, 1,000 watches um, that Benrus released and is available, I think, only on that uh, website, Hodinkee. Anyway, um, sorry for the rambling look.